Welcome to our lecture online. On the previous video, we gave you eight different types of series that you could run into for which you had to calculate or figure out whether or not they converged or diverged. So here we're going to show a little bit more detail, starting with the first four. And on the first one, we have what we call a P-series. And here we can say that this P-series will converge because the exponent in the denominator is greater than 1. 3 is greater than 1, so therefore we can assume that this P-series will converge. On the second example, here we have our infinite series. Then we have to recognize that we can pull out a 4. And then when we bring the 3 to the denominator, changing the sign of the numerator, we now can see that the exponents are equal to one another, and we can write this as 4 times 4 thirds to the n minus 1 power. Now we can say that this series will diverge because consecutive terms will become larger and larger because the common ratio is greater than 1. On this example here, at first you say, well, how do I handle this? But then you realize that you can simplify this by using a comparison test. Since 1 is insignificant to n cubed and 2n plus 3 is insignificant to 5n cubed, we can simply say that this can then be compared to the infinite series where the terms b sub n look like this. So all we did was take the first of the two terms here and the first of the three terms here and then we realize that this series converges because p is greater than 1. That's the exponent in the denominator here. And because of that, we can say that this should converge as well. And on our fourth example, we can do a divergence test. We can say that if we take the limit as n approaches infinity, and here we have, of the terms, that means that as the n goes to infinity, the minus 1 and the plus 1 here in the numerator and denominator are not, no longer significant. So we can therefore uh, take the limit as n approaches infinity. And then, of course, we have n divided by 2n. And so in the limit, the last term will become equal to 1 half, which is not equal to 0. So therefore, this diverges. We'll see some more examples of that in the future, but at least you can see a nice summary of how you want to approach some of these different kinds of series. Again, it all comes down to recognizing the form of the series so you know what approach to take. And here's some examples to do that. 